we are getting ready for our trip to Cali. It's Monday. So leg workout in the sun-ish, dancing in the sun. I'm going to journal right now something that I have been really trying to embody before this festival is I am confident in my body. <laughs> um, that is something that I really want, even though I have goals, even though I, I am still striving further. Um, I want to be comfortable in my body. I want to love my body at all phases. So I want to be not only loving my body, but I want to be confident. And so I'm going to write and journal about that. I'm going to just repeat it over and over. I am confident in my body. I am confident in my body. And whatever else comes to meet me, that would help in that way. <laughs> As I'm writing down my affirmation, I am confident in my body, I like to, on the bottom of that, give evidence to why I should be confident in that. So I say, I am confident in my body because I eat whole foods. I am confident in my body because I move my body every day. I am confident in my body because I drink my gallon of water every day. Stuff like that. <laughs> the last one I put was, I am confident in my body because I am beautifully and wonderfully made. So, what I'm going to do is paint my nails like a trial run. Maybe one hand, one color, and then the other, another color. I like to do that sometimes. Or, it's all of them different colors. Because we're wearing neon green on Wednesday, magenta and gold on Thursday. Friday is, I think, black and white. Saturday is pink and purple. And Sunday is teal. Yeah, You're so beautiful, I need a man to see. Yeah, I need a man to see. my friends so I am editing here a little bit this is where I'm at okay so we actually did a pre-packing kind of thing yesterday where we pre-packed everything in the car as if we were leaving just I can't speak we pre-packed the car just so that we could see what's up so that we could see how much space we have left or you know maybe if there's not enough space we wanted to know ahead of time so we can ad adjust and edit but i think everything we wanted to take actually fits so we're really excited because now i get to take everything i want and that's exciting for me because i love to take multiple outfits i i love fashion even even if I don't get the most expensive clothes or I may not ever be in fashion, I may not even wear things that are popular, but I like them. I really like to dress kind of funky and fun. I'm always dressing with a lot of colors and I like my options. And so does Buddy. We both overpack for sure, but it's okay because we're gonna be gone for 10 days this time and I feel like it's appropriate. So I started packing his side because I just feel like it's easier. For me, I like to have peace, peace of mind knowing that we are packed and Buddy works till five every day and I just feel like after work we wanna hang out. We don't really wanna worry about all this stuff. So I'm gonna just help him out. I'm going to pack most of the stuff and then he can glance over it, see if he likes it or not. Usually he likes what I choose. We have like the same, same thought process. So here are his things. Um, just in case he doesn't like it, I'm going to 
Most of my outfits, my rave outfits for the festival are swimsuits. So if I ever needed an extra swim swimsuit, I can wear the swimsuit from the day before. That's what my friend Victoria suggested. She's going to wear an outfit and then that outfit she's going to use like for swimming the next day or just hanging out the next day. Because we have four or five days there. Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday, Sunday, five, because we get there on Wednesday. Okay, so then this bag is the biggest. It's the bag with our yoga clothes, exercise, pajamas, you know, our chill clothes, whatever. That's the big bag. And then we have this small, well, we'll go, we'll go medium. The medium is for all our outfits. Um, like I mentioned before, we have a neon green outfit, magenta gold, white and black, pink and purple, and teal and purple, teal and purple. This hat I got at the, um, I can't wear it because my, my bun. I got this hat at the fair. I'm already getting dusty. How long have I had it? Um, the Pima County Fair. This is Buddy's. We're taking those hats. We're also taking a bunch of other hats that I have packed already in the car. So you'll you'll see that later. I can show you guys more of what we have later. This is just some, like half of the stuff. Then this one, the small guy, has our hair pieces. Um, our, like, but he has one too. No, it has our, my hair pieces, my makeup, my hair um, iron, my shampoo, conditioner, all that stuff for the hair. What else is in there? And I think that's it. There's gotta be something else in there. <laughs> I forgot them. Um. Oh, our flow toys. My glue whip. And Buddy's, um, I forgot, he got this new flow toy, I forgot what it was called, but a few things in there are fans, um, stuff of that nature. Then, we're taking this DJ bag, it's big, look at this thing, um, we're gonna take our laptop, the DJ board, the mixing board, and then we're gonna take the mini Launch Q Mini, which is like the little piano thing. Just in case, you never know. We might have the opportunity to play around our group or, I don't know. Just gotta, we're just practicing taking this stuff with us always because we want to be able to play eventually. And I got a couple songs on SoundCloud, so I feel like we can just kind of mix those and hang out. With that, there's a ringing in my ear. All of a sudden. Then I have this bag. This is my shower bag. I'm gonna take to and fro from the shower. I feel like it's nice to have a bag to have your change of clothes in instead of like carrying it. Yeah, I was really excited to see that we had room in the car for it. One more bag. Ah. <laughs> I put my um, like fun sunglasses in there, hoping that it's a good spot for them. Then we got our shoes. Okay, don't don't laugh at us. <laughs> okay, we both have two pairs of sh two pairs of ninety sevens that are coming with us, and I have some Crocs in there. We have our water shoes, and then I might take these. Too much? I don't think so. Um, and then, that's pretty much it. Oh, we got these fanny packs. We're gonna take, um, just to have, we, ha we have water backpacks 
that we usually carry our stuff in, but this is a little bit of a longer festival, and, you know, it's nice to have maybe like a smaller thing. I don't really want to wear my water backpack this time. I want to be cute in my outfits, so I'm thinking maybe more if I want to carry stuff, I'm going to use my fanny pack, or I'm going to tell Buddy to take it, take stuff for me. Um, last thing I'll show you guys is this thing. <laughs> it's like, it's for your garden or something. Um, I got it because I think it'll be a really cool way to, to, to remember where we're at. Or like, I don't know how busy the camping area is going to be. So at night, I feel like if we see this, we can you know, get to our spot easier. Who knows? But it'll look cute either way. And it's solar powered. So, that's great. We'll put that in the car um, at the end of the week. Ah, hopefully, hopefully that doesn't break. Wow, I've been really killing the angles of this video. I'm gonna show you guys Buddy's shoes. She customized them. Oh, so cute. They say BZ Beats. BZ Beats. This is our um our music name. Aren't they cute? They literally match like the teal in here. Like they're really cute. So those are new. I didn't get any new ones because I have two pairs already. We have one matching pair. My other pair is pink and I really love them and I haven't worn them enough. So I'm ready to wear them a little bit more before I get some new ones. And now I'm gonna go back to editing this vlog. 1244, all right, I have about two hours before I have my meeting with Christina, my coach. And then, what else do I have today? At five o'clock, we have our CJC, like our whole community meets, and she talks to us. And then at six o'clock, we have our meeting with the, um, the group that's going to LIB. Our last meeting, I think, I'm not, I'm not thinking we're gonna meet next Monday, but we might. Um, so yeah, that's our afternoon. I still haven't decided about my nails, but I'm thinking I do like these colors. But I kind of like the darker pink. I kind of want to put that darker pink in there somewhere. I'm not sure. We, we'll see. <laughs> I'm still a little lost. I'm glad I did a trial, a trial run because I, I wasn't going to. Kind of like this. But I wanted like a little bit of a darker pink in there. Anyway, I'll see you guys later. So another thing that I focus on the week before I go to any festival is making candy. Um, I like to make candy for all my friends and I just put it in the middle of something, like a table or whatever, and, I, and everyone just grabs some because who has the time, right? I do, so I'm making candy right now and... We're back and we're ready for action. We're ready to tap in. So go ahead and get grounded down into your sitting bones. Get tall through your spine. Start to deepen your breath. Notice how you're feeling. Recording it. I had my LIV call with Ozella today and she came up with the most beautiful question about how to use your soul source energy to get things done in your life without feeling like your humanness is having to work too much. And it's so funny because all of the problems that we experience, yeah. so much going on, we have our hands in the clay of so many dimensions. We are co-creators, we are creating at all times. Every single thought that we think is manifesting into form our reality. And when you look around your life and you see, oh my gosh, these are things that I've literally created through thought, you could be so excited and you can feel so, so good about that. 
Or you can look at something that you're not liking and you can create more things that you don't like. And so these are these are the laws of the universe. These are things that, and we actually talked about this, Ozella and I today, because Ozella is a DJ. And so she lets Source just move through her as she's creating her tracks. And she gives everything that she has, but she doesn't have to do any work. She doesn't have to do any work to do it. It just happens. It just happens. And the sounds create themselves. And, and the only block that you can experience is one that you put up for yourself with a limiting belief, a false perception, a false story that you're telling yourself that will then manifest in your life and give you evidence to be like, yeah, you're right. And then you'll be like, yeah, I was right. But no, that doesn't have to be that way. The only reason we manifest evidence for things that we don't want is because we're manifesting evidence for things that we don't want. We just rode the skateboard, penny board. Yours is like a, lo a mini longboard. It's like a little cruiser board. Cruiser board. <laughs> Thanks for challenging me to get on my penny board, babe. I've had a great time. I was scared, you guys. I didn't want to hurt my ankles because I'm really excited to dance this coming week. But you can't live in fear. You cannot live in fear. You have to enjoy the moment. You have to enjoy today. So, ayo. Thanks, baby. I love you. This is one hand. This is like for pink and purple day. And then this is for like magenta and gold. We just saw the rave fam. We're, we're out here um, waiting for them. Wow, buddy does some work. We're fin we're waiting also for Christina and Matt. What is this place called? It's like a market. Air One. Air One. So happy. Oh, thank you. Thanks, babe, for providing this, this site. Ha ha ha! 
Forever in the car. Absolutely. At least you had the car. Okay. Yeah, yeah. yeah Think about it. it. Yeah, I don't know if you would be surviving. Dude, I know. Okay. We're, I'm gonna help, buddy. We're gonna put some shade up. I was like, oh no, this is happening. This is bad, and I need to walk away. It's always a good thing. It's always. Yeah. Flip side. Oh, it's Let's go. Let's go. What up, Ben? What's up, man? Good to see you. Let me show you around. This is where we're gonna have our food. This is our tea. That's where we have all our meditation, journal, dance, whatnot, yoga. We're almost done setting up. It's gonna be awesome. Probably not gonna video a lot more other than shuffle videos and stuff like that. So I hope you guys enjoyed the getting ready to raise for LIB video. Okay, I want to show you guys one more thing. Getting ice refreshments. Ah, queen, queen of the retreat. Impact psychedelics, you guys. This is huge. Manifesting into form. Huge yes. for us. This is the first of many. Yes. Hashtag us. Yes. <laughs> We're so excited. Thank you guys for watching the vlog, the get ready to rave vlog. I can't wait to rave tonight, tomorrow, and the next day, and every day from now on. Again, thank you guys for watching. Go watch Rage Sage and Repeat vlog one.